So here we are going to solve for question number five. Okay. So substitution method. So if you already did four, my recommendation is just to look at that and try to do it and then only watch this. Okay. So pause the video and just to do what you did for number four. Look through that and try to do the exact thing here. If you're still not getting it, watch. Okay. So you can see X alone here again. So whenever one variable is alone, that is the time you are going to substitute here. So where are we going to substitute on the top one, right? So instead of the x there, we are going to pick that guy and put that 3y there, okay? So you need to see that where I substituted. I pick this x from here, the value of x from there and put it there, okay? Then minus 3y, then all like how good you are with your negatives so everything going with that okay so 6y minus 3y this is not like that kind of like a tedious problem or anything because it's kind of self you know explanatory so you can just go with minus 9 there then you are getting from 6y minus 3y is 3y 3y equal to negative 9 when you divide a negative number with y three positive number, you will get a negative number, right? So the final answer is negative three. Hey, we are not done. So don't think you are done there. So substitute back into the equation, x equal to three y. So three times negative three, right? That is negative nine. How do you write the solution set? The solution set will be first always the x value, then the y value. So that is your final solution for that. Next question is little bit different. So it's, that is substitution only, but it's little bit different. So I will go over that. Okay, see you then next time.